Thank you guys for being here. My name is Dave from the Chinese Secrets Not So Ancient Chinese Secrets Show. Yeah, that's what it is. But what we do every single day or weekday at least is we talk about a particular topic. We shoot the breeze for about 10 minutes and then talk about a topic that is just pretty much random. It could be photo and video. It could be food and fitness or it could be family and faith. And today it's video editing because I've been in the thick of video editing. And so we're talking about Final Cut Pro X and a couple of tips that will make it faster for you to edit in Final Cut Pro X. And I know a lot of my friends are using the other program, right? Adobe Premiere. And I've heard great things about it as well. But I bought Final Cut Pro X before I consulted them because I'm a bad boy. And I still want to learn how to use it. And of course, I've been using it for years now, um, even to create my still slideshows for DQ Studios. But I find that there's some really weird quirks that make it really slow. And I was thinking to myself, self, why don't they do this? Why don't they do that? And good news, bang, ding, ding, they actually updated the software and they added a few things. So let's get down to business. And first of all, talk about a couple of things that you should know. If you are new to video editing, like I am ish -ness, well, okay, a couple of years in, but let's take a look here. Ah, oh, this is what millennials want to know, okay? I had to check with my son because he is technically a millennial, okay? Because he's born in the early 2000s, right? So that's the kind of the end of the millennial-ish. So this is going to be pretty basic for a lot of people who've been doing this, but stick with me because there is a new feature in the latest update of Final Cut Pro X as of this video that is really cool that will help you edit faster as well. I'm going to say welcome to Tom Rath who says on Facebook, first time watching live as I'm usually working on vacation visiting in Los in Alberta. Great show. Thanks so much, Tom. Good to have you here and welcome to Alberta. Where are you from? I would love to know. But anyways, let's get back to business until I see your reply. Okay. So, the first thing that you want to know, and you millennials who always like, you know, okay, does anybody, if you have children, if you have millennials, do they walk around the house, stare at their phones and go, ha, uh, lol, JK, JK. Do they like go around and uh, instead of having real expressions, just like say LOL or JK around the house? My kids do. Well, well, okay, mostly it's my elder son, but it's so weird, right? Because he's not actually laughing out loud, but he go, lol. It's like, how does this make any sense? Okay, anyways, but this is easy for them to remember. And so some of the keyboard shortcuts, that's going to be very easy for you to select different parts of a clip to put into your timeline are going to be JK, so just kidding, and lol, right? JKL. So let's go into it and take a peek. So right now I've got to first share my desktop and now, oh darn, I don't have it open. Final Cut Pro X is going to be opening right now. And what I have here is some stuff from Columbia. And let's talk about the definition of the different parts. First of all, we've got our library here. So I've already created something. I've already imported my clips and this is called the uh, the clips so we haven't added anything to a project or a timeline and then down below here we've got what they call the timeline and this is actually where we're going to add the footage okay so one thing that we want to do is figure out how, what's the best way to select footage so that's going to be looking at your raw clips and these are what you recorded while you're using your video recorder right and so what i do j k l and so K is stop, J is going backwards, and then L is going forwards. Very simple, but you can hit them multiple times. So if I hit uh, L like one, twice, that's twice as fast, that's like a faster, that's even faster. So if you've got a whole bunch of junk you have to go through really fast, J, K, L. So just kidding and laugh out loud will get you there very, very quickly. So not too shabby right there. Uh, let's go back over here. So that's pretty simple, okay? So that's just navigating around to different clips, J, K, L, right? Now, here's the other thing. I had to ask my son, do you know the song Old MacDonald? Because I'm not sure if that millennials would know that song, right? Because how does it go, guys? Okay, let's all sing along. Let's sing along. Old MacDonald had a farm. And then what's the next part? E-I-E-I-O, right? Yes, I know. That even rhymes. I got you right there. Okay, stick with me here, folks. So E, 
I E I O. Okay, so ugh, E I O, E I O, E I O. Okay, let's go back over here and take a look at the desktop. And I'm going to go back to Final Cut Pro. Well, what does I and O do? Well, if I'm in a clip in my clip inspector here and I want to grab, let's say, a section of this particular one. So I'm going to press my L key and now I'm going forward and I'm going to go faster because I don't like any of this stuff and it's actually quite a bit of garbage. Whoa, da, 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 da. And we're taking a gondola through the favelas of Colombia. But uh, let's take a look here. Oh, oh is that interesting? Mm, that's almost interesting. Okay, let's go back here. So I'm going backwards with my JJJ. Okay, here we go. And so now I'm going to press the I button. And what happens if you take a look at my clip inspector right over here, it's going to create an int uh, in point. Okay, now I'm going to go and press L and go forward and I, that's the out point and so now I'm going to press the O and if you take a look what it did it was selecting the in and the out point of the clip that I want now that I've got the E and the O or the I and the O that's the letter that other letter in that old McDonald's song which is E and what if you press the letter E look at my timeline down over here okay I'm just going to hit the letter E and boom sauce it brings that clip into my timeline to the very end e for end but you so those three things three letters e i e i o oh mcdonald knows he knows bo knows okay so very cool so i o and then press e to put it into the end of the clip so my workflow after you've imported your clips i go through them all jkl Right? Just kidding. Laugh out loud. And then I press I-O for the ones that are I-O, I-O. Off the work we go. I'm kidding. So anyways, I am still shouldn't confuse you. Old McDonald, E-I-O. Okay? And then I press E to put them in the timeline. And this is the, what they call the rough cut. And so we're not looking to get it polished. Don't worry about being an exact in the I and the O. Just get the good parts into the timeline so we can start refining all of your good stuff. Okay. Very cool, but here is the tip that will save you much time and gnashing of teeth. And one thing that I really don't like about Final Cut Pro is when you're kind of looking at those clips in the top section, whenever it comes to the end of a clip, it would just stop playback, right? It would just say, oh, this is the end of the clip. And so if you've got a whole bunch of these really short clips, like some people, like sometimes if you're doing B-roll, you only have like a recording for about 10 seconds or 15 seconds. You've got to press play every single time and, and select the next clip every single time. And it's just so annoying. What were they thinking, right? So this is what you need to do. First off, as of this writing, they just released recently this update, 10.3.4. So definitely get the update. It's so easy. Just go to the um, Mac App Store and update Final Cut Pro X. And this is kind of a hidden feature. And I'm not sure why they didn't put in a menu system, but they really should have because this helps very much to make your life faster. Okay, now let's go back into Final Cut Pro. So first of all, just make sure that you've got at least version 10.3.4 or else this will not be an option that you will be able to see. Okay, so now again, remember this is our clips section of all of our clips um, that we have not edited, that they're the full length clip from our video source, right? Well, go into this little tiny icon and then click on it. And then this is where the magic happens. Choose continuous playback. And the continuous playback will automatically go from section to section without a problem. So let's take a look and see how that works here in real life. Okay, so first of all, the default is not having it checked. And so what we're gonna do right now is press play. And what happens when it gets to the end of it? Oh, hi, Jonas Peterson. Nice to see you here. And then what it's going to do is just stop. And then what happened prior to this version and not having this checked, you have to select the next one um, and then press spacebar or L to start playback. Okay, so quite ridiculous and not very useful. Now, this is what happens if we are to click that continuous playback and say yes. Now press space bar. Now it just keeps on going and going. And so if there's nothing interesting, I don't have to just, I don't manually have to one, select the next clip with an up or down or a mouse and two, press play. This saves so much time. It also works in reverse. And so if I press the J to reverse it faster, it will also go backwards to the previous clip. So this one 
trick will make your life so much easier and make it so much faster to select the right clips, at least for the rough cut, when you're taking them in from the clips. So hopefully that helps you guys. That helped me immensely. And I was so excited when this update came out and I found that little, little checkbox. And there's nowhere else to find it, but that one tip will hopefully help you guys out. So that's all I have of use today. I'm gonna go back here and take a look at any comments, um, but there might not be any because this is pretty geeky stuff. So Tom says he's from Iowa, corn country. Oh, it's so good to have you here, Tom. Welcome to Alberta. I hope you get out to the mountains. It is gorgeous there and happy Canada Day. Woohoo! Okay, well, that's about it for today. So let's talk about one more thing. I do have a thought of the day. It is Friday. We're going to be having our Bible study tonight. I can't wait to see my life group again because it's been a long time since we've got together. It's just been so busy in the last couple months. So thought of the day. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. And uh, yeah, just a reminder that whether times are good or bad, you know, what should we pray about? It says here, everything. <laughs> That's easy. So yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on the Chinese Secret Show. And uh, you can also subscribe. You can share this with people that you think might find it useful. And of course, you can support us anyhow. Um, but uh, thanks for being here. You can check out more Chinese Secrets at ChineseSecrets.com. But uh, God bless. Have a great Canada Day weekend. And I'll see you in the next video.